Steve Saunders on the line with us. He's the president of AFSCME, the American Federation of State, County, and Municipal Employees. If I have that right, uh, President Saunders, welcome to the program. Thank you, Tom. So tell us what AFSCME's up to. Well, we're uh, here in Charlotte, and uh, uh, we're going to be organizing our members and mobilizing and educating our folks because this election is so extremely important. Uh, I think everyone uh, who listened to uh, the nonsense that was coming out and the rhetoric that was coming out of the Republican convention uh, last week should understand uh, that this is extremely important. It's extremely, to get the vote, extremely important to get the vote out. It's extremely important to mobilize our communities because there is a clear, very clear difference between what the Republicans are talking about and what the Democrats are talking about, whether it's saving Social Security and Medicare and Medicaid or protecting workers' rights and civil rights and women's rights, uh, moving this country forward or taking it many, many steps backwards. And uh, I think that choice is clear, and we're going to be working like never before uh, to mobilize our communities to support Barack Obama uh, for his re-election effort. Now, you know, as the guy who is the president of the, of the union that represents government employees, you guys have really been taking it on the chin from the Republicans here for the last couple of years. Uh, actually, for the last 30 years, arguably. But, but in particular, I mean, uh, this demonization of government employees that has been the mantra of people like John Kasich and Scott Walker and, and the other, uh, uh, they've become icons now in the Republican Party. Uh, how are you responding to that? Well, I mean, in, in Wisconsin, uh, as you know, we attempted to recall uh, the governor. Uh, we didn't, uh, we didn't make it. Uh, it was a setback, but, uh, we're still, uh, we're still organizing our folks and we're still going to, uh, to, to be strong advocates for public service in that state. And, uh, we're going to win ultimately in that state. Uh, we were able to protect, uh, the Senate, uh, in that recall by, um, uh, flipping the Senate. And, uh, now it's in Democratic control and we've got to keep it in Democratic control. Uh, we took out a number of other senators who supported Walker. Uh, and when he stole collective bargaining away from us. Uh, it's all about uh, organizing your communities, not only our members, uh, but our allies and our partners across, uh, across the country. I mean, we had a similar uh, problem in Ohio where John Kasich wanted to, to do the same thing that uh, Scott Walker did, but uh, uh, you can't recall in Ohio, so we had an initiative process, and we were able to put that on the ballot in last November. Uh, we let the citizens of Ohio decide whether public service workers should have the right to collect- collectively bargain. Uh, we won by more than a two-to-one margin. Uh, that just shows you what we can do uh, when we put our minds to it, when we organize uh, our members and our communities. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing from now until uh, November, uh, because uh, the, choice, uh, the choice is so stark. Uh, last, uh, last time around in 2008, we had 40,000 boots on the ground. Uh, we're going to have 80,000 boots on the ground uh, all over the country in uh, battleground states uh, for this election. And we're going to be engaged like never before, not only knocking on our doors, our members' doors, and making phone calls and leafleting, uh, but we're going to be knocking on uh, the doors of non-union members and telling them the importance and talking about the importance uh, of this election and uh, uh, educating them as uh, President Clinton educated the uh, uh, the Americans who were looking at uh, his speech last night. I mean, I thought that was a great speech, and he, he really laid out uh, the differences between uh, uh, what's being proposed by uh, by Romney and Ryan and uh, uh, the record of, uh, of Barack Obama, and uh, we're going to support him heavily. Yeah, absolutely, and, and, and it was a brilliant speech. You're, you are so right. In Michigan, 700,000 working people in Michigan got together, and they've, they've submitted 700,000 petition signatures to put on the ballot a constitutional amendment to add to the Constitution of the state of Michigan the right to collectively bargain. Uh, is AFSCME involved in that? Yes, we are. As a matter of fact, um, uh, we sit at the table. Uh, we're working very closely with, um, with the UAW, who, initi- who initiated this, um, uh, this uh, referendum, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, we're going to be getting our folks out um, to support that. We also have an- another initiative in that state where right now the governor, uh, there was legislation passed, um, uh, last year, I guess, where uh, the governor has the ability uh, to declare a financial emergency in any governmental jurisdiction within the state of Michigan, and he can put his cronies in, yep. uh, wipe out the elected officials, wipe out the mayor, wipe out the uh, county commissioners, wipe out anyone. And he's done it. And he, ben he Harbor, puts his, yes, he has. He puts his cronies in, and they can abrogate the, uh, the contracts that have been negotiated by the unions. Uh, it's a local dictator law. That's exactly what we call it. Yeah. So that's going to be on the ballot also. We're trying to overturn that because it's undemocratic. 
Yeah. And that's yeah. what's happening. I mean, we've got to look at this very, very seriously. These folks are trying to take our democracy away from us. I mean, they want to reward, continue to reward the one percent uh, by giving them more power, by giving them uh, more wealth at the expense, at the expense of the ninety-nine percent who are trying to play by the rules every single day, putting bread on the table, uh, trying to make ends meet, sending their kids to school. Uh, so we've got to, we've got to rise up. The ninety-nine percent has got to rise up and say, uh, not on our watch. And uh, that's exactly what we're going to do. Yeah. And and what can uh, what can average Americans do who are not members of unions to support the efforts of of uh, AFSCME? I think they can uh, they should make their voices heard. I mean this nonsense about uh, 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 us being used as scapegoats mm-hmm. uh, when we're your neighbors and we're your friends and we're providing essential public services to communities across this country. Uh, you need to stand with us, and we'll stand with you. Uh, and that's what we're doing. We're building our coalitions all across this country, and we've got to make our voices heard. So we're asking for help. We're, af- we're asking for support. And uh, we're asking people to do the right thing to move this country forward, not take it backwards. Yeah, you guys have a, a, a little more, uh, in some ways, difficult, and in some ways, uh, brilliantly, there's a brilliant opportunity there in the job that you have in, in selling your union to, to just the very existence of it, to to other you know to to Americans who who may not even really understand unionization and that is that you know I mean if the UAWs or the Teamsters or somebody are out there talking about you know what they do they're talking about private sector jobs and you're talking about public sector jobs you're you're representing government employees and so not only do you have to represent the importance of having democracy in the workplace a union but you also have to represent the importance of ha- of actually having a functioning government that has employees who are doing their jobs and doing so in a way where they feel like they're committed, they have a career, they have benefits that are worthy of staying here over the long term and really putting in and putting in well. Uh, your thoughts on that? Well, you're, you're exactly right. I mean, we've got to uh, promote public service and the importance of public service. So often uh, you hear from the noise machine on the Republican side, uh, that we don't need government. The government is too big. Uh, that uh, it's bloated. Uh, that uh, government employees are overpaid. Uh, they are, their benefits are too high. And those are lies, just like the lies coming out of that convention last week. And we've got to educate the public about the important work that we do. I mean, you know, we represent uh, public service workers all over the country in almost any occupation that you can imagine. Uh, and that could include public safety, corrections officers, Highway workers, sanitation workers, public health, child care workers, home care workers, librarians, you name it, we've got them. And these folks and these members provide essential public services every single day. And uh, we can't be uh, marginalized and we can't be demonized. And that's exactly what the other side is trying to do. And uh, we're asking our allies and we're asking our friends uh, who understand the importance of government, who understand the importance of uh, when there's a crisis, we're the first ones uh, that hit the ground running to, to deal with that crisis. And uh, we've got to speak up and speak out and, uh, uh, and speak against the lies that are coming from uh, that noise machine on the Republican side. Indeed. We're talking with Lee Saunders, the president of AFSCME, the American Federation of State, County, Municipal Employees, AFSCME.org, AFSCME.org is the website. I do have the name of the union right. AFSCME, American yes, Federation of State, County, and Municipal Employees. That's, that's, yeah, okay. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, Lee Saunders, thanks so much for being with us, sir, and for the great work that you and your union are doing. It is, it is God's work. It's important stuff. Thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me.